Hey friends, I'm Lisa with Made to Create with Lisa. And I know it has been a little while since I've been on, but I am here today. Um, it's a super rainy, dreary day here in Washington State, but um, it's a perfect day to craft. Um, I've been going through some tough things in my life um, the last while. And so I just haven't had the energy, honestly, to craft. Um, but it does feed the soul. And so uh, today I put together a cute home decor piece for spring. It really is kind of for Easter, but um, let's just do it for spring in general. And um, and I think you're really going to like it. Okay. Um, I'm looking around here. Yeah, I think I do have everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. Uh, the main thing we're going to be using today is these cute little bunny cutouts, the wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree. And as usual, they come in all different shapes for the different seasons. And so we're going to do the bunny one for spring. Okay. So that is the main thing we're going to be using. And I think that we can just go ahead and dive in and get started. Okay. All right. So I'll flip you down here. Okay, so yes, we are going to use the um, wooden bunny cutouts from the Dollar Tree. And let me tilt you this way just a little bit more. Okay, so we are going to use some of our beautiful designer series paper, like we always do. And this one is going to be the pattern party um, paper. Okay, so this is one of the ones that you can earn um, as a hostess. Um, if you spend a minimum of $150, you can choose this gigantic pack of paper. Okay, and one of the designs in here is this green one, and the back of it has these cute little tiny polka dots. Um, I like them because they're super tiny and they're random looking, and uh, so I just think that that's a really cute design. So that is what we're going to be using today. So what I did, let me put that aside here. Let me pull out what I already prepared. Okay, so I know that you've seen me do this before, but what I did is I put my bunny on here, okay? And then you just use a pencil and you trace around it and you cut around it. Okay, and I did that twice because we're going to cover two different bunnies. Okay, and so I already did that so that you wouldn't have to be bored and watch me do it here. Okay, so I did two of them and um, I did, you know, I did them opposite so that we can, we're going to sandwich them together like that. All right, so let me get my scratch piece of paper here so I don't make a mess and I'm pulling in our um, Mod Podge, well not our, the Mod Podge that I always like to use when I'm doing stuff like this with just a cheesy um, foam brush and the first thing we're going to do is just get this cute designer series paper applied to our bunny, okay? So you want it thick enough so it'll stick, so you have a good layer of adhesive, but thin enough that you don't make it bubble. It's kind of like a little fine line here with Mod Podge. But I like it because it spreads all the way around on your whole image, and then you can get it stuck down. So let's get this baby on here. And what I do is I turn it over and slide it. Whoops, I don't know why that's not sliding. There we go. I slide it to make sure that the whole thing is covered. Okay, and then you wanna make sure to give it a nice press on the whole bunny. Otherwise you will get um, bubbles. All right, so give the whole thing a press. And just make sure it's all stuck down. So I think that's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing with this one. This guy is so small, I can just hold him. So I hope you have been doing well. 
Um, I'm so happy that it's spring. I'm so happy that the days are longer already and they're just gonna keep getting longer and longer. Uh, yes, I love the sunshine and the light and uh, it definitely gets dark here in the Northwest. So it's a good thing when we start getting the sunshine. <laughs> Okay, again, I'm gonna turn it over. Okay, and make sure that's all on there. Give it a nice press. Hey, Sue, how are you? Thanks so much for being here. I've missed you guys. Okay, I'm just giving it a really nice press all over. Okay, so now we're done with the Mod Podge. So I'm just gonna sit that aside Okay, now I know you guys have seen me do this plenty of times, but what we're just gonna do is, this is a nice little um, sandpaper guy from Walmart. And we're just gonna quickly sand this baby down. Now you see how it's like taking off the edges so that you have a nice finished edge all the way around the bunny. Um, you can get the sanding blocks from the Dollar Tree, but boy, I saw another crafter use one of these a long time ago, and it is, I ran out and got it, and it's by far my favorite. Um, it just works better, in my opinion, than the soft um, sanding sponges from the Dollar Tree. So, um, so yeah, this is, this is my favorite. So we're going to go all the way around. All the edges shaved off here. I hope that's not too loud. I guess I could have done one of these in advance. It didn't occur to me, sorry. But it doesn't take too long. All right, just about done. See how that just shaves off all those ragged edges. to hurry when you're just doing it in the quiet of your own self it's it's uh <laughs> it's not that bad okay so this is just another just a little um emery board you know from the dollar tree that you use on your fingernails and i like to use that like to get in some of these crevices that like the big fat one can't get into um so we're just going to go all the way around and get all of those edges off, okay? So tell me if you have decorated for Easter or for spring. I did go ahead and decorate decorated for spring. Um, I guess it's been about a week ago now. I... Uh, I uh, definitely needed to get some springy decor to lighten my spirits. And um, and honestly, I think it helps. Um, I love putting new decor out in my home. Actually, it's not new. It's just fresh decor, I should say. I mean, I reuse a lot of my decor every year. And then, of course, all this cute stuff I'm making with you guys, I get it put out too. Okay, I'm blowing that off. Get all those extras. I didn't realize <laughs> because of all those nooks and crannies that it would take a little while. So hopefully this one doesn't take as long. All right, but I do have to do them both before we can move on. Otherwise, I can't do it later. After we get it all glued together, I won't be able to come back. So we do have to finish this. So my son has been here for the past week, home from college, and when he's home, I definitely do a lot more cooking because he is a huge eater, <laughs> and he and my husband are addicted to March Madness, so 
so there was a lot of sports on my TV all the time. Actually, they even went in person to um, one of the days of March Madness because it was here in Portland. Um, so they loved that. All right, we're nearing the finish line here. Anyway, that was a lot of fun to have him home. He just left a couple hours ago, and uh, I already miss him. He does bring me joy, and uh, yeah, I will miss him. All right, just about done. Let's get these little cracks. And just all you have to do is just kind of glance at your edges. Make sure you've gotten all of those edges sanded off. There. Okay, I think we're done. Except right there. Oh, whoops. Not this. Hold on, I gotta do this ear. Okay. Okay, we're done. What do you think? Aren't they cute? I just really love this, this uh, polka dot design. Okay, so we are done with that. Sorry that took so long. I, <laughs> I was not prepared for it to take that long. Okay, so we have those done. Now what we are going to do is I, <clears throat> I have several of these wooden cubes from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and so this is how you buy them, just in a cube. And this is the color that they are, the, the unfinished wood color, okay? So I took some stain and I stained it um, just like a light brown color. And then I have some of these wooden skewers that you use like for making shish kebabs. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I cut it down, but honestly, I decided I wanted it a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna cut it down a little bit more. Woo, okay, that flew across the room. Okay, and these I also stained with the same stain so that it would look the same. Then I had my husband drill me a little hole in here, and it was funny because I wasn't sure. They are; These are so lightweight, I just assumed they were hollow. Anyway, I found out that they definitely are hollow. Okay, so this'll go in here like this, okay? And we will hot glue that in there. But first, we are going to glue our bunnies to this skewer. I think I'm gonna do it on the back ear like that. And then we will stick this in, yes. See, I was checking how far this is, if that's a good length to have it be a cute little, um, a cute little stand. And I think that that's a good length. Actually, I'll take it just a tiny bit more. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this be like this. So I have my beautiful hot glue gun, <laughs> which we all know is not beautiful. And whoops, okay, I'm going to make a line all the way down. <clears throat> and we will Stick this on like that. All right, let me push that down for a second. Make sure that it's glued really well. All right. Then we're gonna sandwich this guy on there. So let's just put some more glue on to the skewer. and sandwich that on. I'm not directly above it, so hold on here. I wanna make sure, there we go. I wanna make sure that it's totally lined up. Okay, so I'm gonna push, because I definitely want this to stay centered, and I don't want it to like squish together, you know, on one side or the other. I want it to stay even. So see how that's sandwiched in there like that? Okay. Make sure that it's solid. 
Okay, so you see how this is coming together? How cute that's gonna be? Just like a little piece that you can sit on a shelf or whatever. Okay, tell me if you like this so far. I hope you do. Okay. Now, I feel I felt like the, the, the little bunny had to have a fluffy tail, right? So I was thinking and thinking because I didn't want to use like a pom-pom. I wanted to use our Stampin' Up! products. So I had to get creative. So let me put this away. Okay, so what I came up with was using our beautiful frayed ribbon, which I know that I've used uh, many times. Oh, good, good, Sue. I'm glad you like it. Now check this out. Now, I hope, <laughs> I hope it works as cute as I am envisioning. Um, I already made one for a sample, and I think it's going to be cute once it's um, glued on, but we will see. So what I did is I took two little pieces like this, okay? And I know you've seen me do this before, where I actually took the ribbon, okay? And we're actually going to fray it, okay? Now watch what I'm gonna do, because I already did one that flew across the room. <laughs> so I'm saving you that. What I'm gonna do now is hold this like this, so it does not fly across the room. Okay, and then I'll finish pulling it off. Okay, now look at all those millions of fibers that are like that. Now, I will warn you, they're super staticky. So I'm being really careful here. I'm laying this down. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on this one. All right, so we're pulling this out. Again, trying not to let all these little tiny guys fly away. And we will pull it like that. Look. Okay, are you impressed yet? <laughs> okay, now this is the delicate, <laughs> the delicate process. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use one of these that I just pulled off to tie to tie this little bunch together. So be patient with me here for a second. Hopefully I can hold it and tie it. I did manage with my sample, so hopefully this will work. I'm just going to tie a knot. Yes, okay, check this out. Okay, I need to tie a knot, so I need to do it one more time here. Whoops, pull that through. Okay, look at that. What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna pull it. So now, we'll cut those edges off. Now I'm gonna save this and use this for something else, because look how beautiful that is. That's fantastic. Okay, but what I wanted for this was to kind of create like a little bunny cottontail, right? So I was hoping that if I put it sideways like this and kind of flattened it out, that it would look like a cottontail. That was my plan. So I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter. I hope I didn't just ruin it. I hope it's not too short. Okay. And then we are going to attempt, now see, I haven't, haven't checked this out. Oh, Sue, you have got to get this ASAP. I actually bought several rolls just because I love it so much I don't wanna run out. Okay, so see, I was thinking if I glued it like up and down like this, that we could put this on his tail. Okay, so let's see if I can smash it on. Let's see if this will work. Okay, so I'm going to put a blob of hot glue and glue this on here like this. Hold it for a second. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more hot glue in the middle, you know, to like, to glue those layers open so that it stays more pom-pom-ish instead of coming up. 
if that makes sense. So I'm gluing it down so it stays open like that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm sorry, but this is totally epic. <laughs> I love it even more than I thought I would. Oh my word. This is phenomenal. Okay, look at this close up. I need my camera to, to uh, focus here. Come on, focus, focus. It's not focusing. There we go. Look at that. Oh my word. Okay. Yes, I am very excited. Okay, so this is my other one that I made, my other sample. So now we can glue it on this side. Oh man, isn't it awesome when a plan comes together? Because you're kind of nervous and you're hoping it's gonna work, but of course you don't really know. <laughs> Okay, so I push that down. Now see how it kind of wants to spring back up open. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue in here to kind of like glue it, force it to stay flat, force it to stay open. Just a little bit more. Oh my word. This is amazing. Okay, now this is still coming up a little bit, so I'm gonna put a little bit more here. Push that down. Okay. And now he has this adorable flyaway, kind of gigantic tail, but I kind of think that it couldn't be much cuter. Oh my word. Okay. So there's his tail. I need to stop congratulating myself. <laughs> okay. So then my last thought was our adorable gingham ribbon. I had a scrap of this already sitting in my, on my desk. I thought we could see if we liked, um, having him have a little bow. So what do you think? Do you think that we should do a bow or not do a bow? <laughs> Okay, let's see how it looks. I kind of think that it might be cute, so let's see. I kind of think it needs to be small. That might be too big. What do you think? Do you think we should have a bow? Or do you think that it detracts from my amazing tail? Since really we have to focus on that. Oh, I think it pretty looks pretty darn cute. Okay, so... I'm so glad you're here because you're helping me out. Okay, let's see, I think I want it this way. Okay, adorable. Here's his bow. And let's do another one for the other side. And I don't know if you can see how tiny I'm actually making this, it's actually really small. This ribbon itself is super narrow, um, so it kind of only makes small bows. Kind of need to make a match in size so that when we put it on this side, it's about the same size. So let's glue this one on. Okay. Whoops, I don't want all that glue sticking out. Let me blob that up there. There we go. Okay, he's coming together. Okay, adorbs. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue this in here so that it stays. But before we do that, I wanted to put something on the front of our block. Sorry, I have little hot glue hairs everywhere. Okay, so what I came up with for a cute little thing on the front of the block was, I'm looking here. Okay, so I got out some of our regular white cardstock here, and I ran it through the Timber 3D embossing folder, okay, just to give it some, um, some texture. So I tried 
doing some coloring on the back um, and some stamping and stuff just to see if I liked you know, like having some different looks on it. And I just didn't like that. I think that I didn't like it because of the way that the bunny looked. So I was thinking that I would do it plain. Okay, now my only other thought that I had was I also played with pulling out my black memento and I played with coloring the actual, um, the, the paper. So let's just see, I guess let's hope that we like it because I'm doing it right now, right? So I'm just rubbing the pad directly on the paper like that. So tell me if you like that or if I should have left it plain. Um, what I'm doing is I also used, which I know that you've seen me do a lot of times, is I, I pulled out my Playful Alphabet um, dies, okay, and I, and I, uh, I used our black cardstock and I cut out the word hop for our little bunny, okay? So that's why I was thinking of accenting that with black instead of just leaving it completely plain. So I thought that we would glue our little letters on here like this, okay? So I cut those out of here and then we will stick this in like this. And see how that's just an adorable little piece to just sit on your, um, you know, on your shelf or whatever. I think this is adorable. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go for it. I am going to go ahead and glue the letters. I'm afraid that my glue might be getting low. All right, let me glue the letters on here. So I think that you could have left this totally plain white. I tried to use some um, wood grain paper and I did not like that at all. That was an instant no. Um, so then I just went back to the white and then I thought, well, whoops, this is sliding all over the place. Then I thought, well, I kind of liked it with some of the black accents. Okay, sorry. This is sticking to my fingers and going everywhere. Okay, so we'll glue this on. Now, obviously, as you see, <laughs> for this particular craft, you have to pick a very small word. So therefore, we have the word hop. Okay, and that fits right there. Okay, you know what? I feel like I want that to be on dimensionals and I didn't think about that. So let me grab some dimensionals. Okay, what do you think? Do you like the way that that's coming together? Some more polka dot paper. No, I did not try that. If I would have put little polka dot paper down there in addition to the polka dot bunny, let's see what that would have looked like. What do you think? Do you think that that's better? That would actually look really cute too. I guess um, I was thinking it, it might be too many polka dots. I don't know. I think it would look cute. There's nothing wrong with it, that's for sure. Okay. And after I get this on here, if I don't like it, I can just rip it off and change it out. <laughs> okay. Because, of course, once you hot glue this guy in here, you can't really take him out, but you could easily peel that back off. So you have to figure out which way you want him to face, which tail we like better. Mm, let's see. I kind of think I want him to face this way. So what, this was my plan. Hopefully it will work. I was going to just squeeze some hot glue down into the hole. Now remember what I said, that this is um, hollow. So I just really need it to grip around the outside of my skewer. 
So I need to hold that for a second to get it to dry. Hold on. I know you're looking down at it, but I need to make sure that it's touching the bottom and it's sticking. So you can see what it looks like when you're looking down. It's just two of the bunnies sandwiched together. Oh, I can feel that it's just about dry. Okay. I think it's in there. Okay, there it is. So my final thoughts, well, I had a few thoughts. I always have thoughts. I thought that you could maybe glue like some little moss around here, you know, to like fill up the bottom. You could also maybe glue like some little Easter eggs directly onto there um, to dress it up. Um, what else could you do? Oh, and then my other thought was just if you wanted to just do a big bow or something. Um, I just think that there's a lot of different ideas. I was thinking that I wanted it more straightforward and plain, um, so I didn't do any of that, but I think that it would be cute. You know what, I have some moss right here. Do you wanna see what it looks like? Um, let's see. I didn't really plan on making a big mess, but hey, why not? So if we did, ooh, little carrots. Okay, that would be adorable. So here's green moss. Now, as you know, you could also do brown moss. Oh, okay, this is actually really cute. <laughs> What do you think of that? Okay, I kind of love that. I think I have to do it. Well, good thing we just figured that out. Okay, so let's put some light, just very light. Whenever you do this moss, you can, we gotta remember you can kind of see through it. So you don't want like big blobs of glue. So just really lightly put a very thin, layer. Okay. I really like it. I hope you liked that touch. And then yes, all those other things, some eggs, some carrots, um, so many cute little things you could add to this. So now that I'm staring at it, I feel like I do not like that black accent around there. So I think that I'm going to change that out um, before I take my final picture and post it. But in general, I think that we made something super, super cute. And I hope that you like it. And so what I will do is let me bring you back up so I can show you um, the front, the front um, view. Let me flip the camera around. Hold on here. Okay. Now you're not backwards. Okay, so here it is from the front view. Totally cute. Thank you, Cheryl. And let me show you really close up this amazing tail. Yes, my favorite part. So if you missed how I made the tail, you have to go watch back and watch the replay because it's pretty amazing. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna do another one of these with a different animal later this week. And so um, I hope you come back. And uh, I just really appreciate you being here. Thank you for your support. Oh, you do like the black, Sue. Okay, well then maybe I'll keep it because it's kind of for you. <laughs> so I do appreciate your support. Uh, thank you for being here. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget that you were made to create. Bye.